Yes. How are you? Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? You must be hungry. Are you ready for your bottle? Are you ready for your bottle? Here it comes. Oh, a little burp. Have some more. Yes, have some more. Oh, <clears throat> uh, hello, Solheimer. Sorry, I'm not my usual self. Without further ado, I will continue my story. The animal was spotted in the southeast of Australia, somewhere near Tombs Lake. The creature was spotted on a river. A lot of animals are masters in hiding. I dug deeper and deeper, and finally landed in a pathway of a burrow. I walked down the pathway and around the corner, I saw something amazing. A beaver with a duck's bill. I'd read about it, but it was something different meeting the animal in real life. It's the Ornithonhynchus anatinus, better known as the platypus. The platypus has a body of a mole, the tail of a beaver and the bill of a duck. The platypus is the only mammal with a bill. The fur is similar to the fur of a mole and it's waterproof. The head is flat, that's where the platypus got its name from. The eyes are located above the bill and the nostrils are located on the surface of the bill. The ears, nostrils and eyes are closed when the platypus swims underwater. The paws have five toes and are very short and have webbed feet. The back paws are smaller and are used for steering together with the tail. The duck-like bill is not solid as that of a bird, it's soft, like rubber. The bill is a receptor. When the platypus swims underwater, it closes its eyes, ears and nostrils. This bill functions as a radar. It can feel his prey. They are also venomous. The male platypus have ankle spurs on their back paws that produce venom. They use the spurs for fighting with other males during mating season. But the venom can even kill a dog. The platypus is a semi-aquatic mammal. They live in the water and on land. Underwater, they close their eyes, ears and nostrils. A dive takes around 30 seconds, but he can stay underwater for 5 minutes. Apart from worms and insect larvae, they also eat shrimps and freshwater jabby. While hunting, they move their bill from left to right. The receptors on their bill receives electromagnetic pulses of their prey. In that way, they are similar to moles, but only underwater. They are solitary animals. They live by themselves and not in groups. They live in burrows they dig from the waterfront. The burrows can be 30 meters long. The nesting burrow has several twists, turns and blockages of earth before it reaches the nesting chamber. These are made by the female platypus, so that predators cannot come in easily and water cannot leak into the chamber. Also, these burrows are sloped upwards into the earth so that the eggs are protected against the water. Fun facts! Do you know where the platypus uses his tail for? The tail of the platypus serves as storage for fat. How does a platypus walk? Well, like so. The female platypus left the burrow to go hunting. And then I saw something amazing. A platypus egg. I stayed in the burrow and waited for the mother to return. But somehow she did not return. But then something miraculous occurred. The egg was hatching and a little baby platypus was born. The babies are born without fur and are very small. What was I to do? His mother had not returned. I decided to wait for a few more days and nurture him. Yes, little poochie poochie woochie. What was I to do? Leave you all by yourself? No, that just won't do. Daddy had to take care of you. Yes. Yes, I know what you want to say. 
very unprofessional to let feelings get in the way. But what would you have done? Such a cutie you don't leave behind in the wilderness. No, PewDiePie, I didn't leave you behind. No, I did not. I did not. He still doesn't have a name. What name should we give him? Can you come up with a nice name for this little rascal? Let me know in the comments. How does a mo and a platypus say goodbye? Well, like so. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself. Professor Dr. Anton Mo, scientific researcher in biology, collector and explorer of almost extinct animals.